So this is truly a strange level. It is called an explosive surprise. I have no idea what's hiding in here. But I can imagine that it's gonna be pretty explosive. And a nice little surprise. Let's check it out, okay? Here we go! Hey guys, this is Sporechagesify. And welcome back to Wooden Battles. Guys, today... We're in a beautiful level, but I have not built it, okay? Today, we are playing in the latest update, which brings the Steam Workshop. So just like in Ravenfield and Ancient Warfare 3, we can now play the levels that you guys have created. That is absolutely awesome. Check the links in the description if you want to play them as well. Guys, the first one is called the Blue Gods. Versus the red gods over here on team red. We got a whole pile of mess, okay? So everything is kind of shaped like an arc Whereas over on the blue team, we got all these neat little pillars that look very cool Kind of like heaven over here, right? But then over here We got a total mess and I think it's because of the red gods, okay guys If you're excited to check out the best levels I could find in the steam workshop Leave a like on the video right here, right now. And then we are going to see if the blue team or the red team is victorious. Okay, we're gonna take a look at... Oh boy, they are kicking it off right off the bat. So we kind of got... Kind of like a Gatling gun uh, pyramid. Like we like to make, but... Oh, way more stuff happening over here. That's a lot of booms, okay? That's of course the new mortar. Oh, that, that's a lot of booms actually. <laughs> Wee boom, wee boom. But then that times a thousand, I guess. So remember, guys, the mortars have a lot of range, okay? They can shoot from almost across the map. But if they shoot five times, as you can see right here, they will go down by themselves. Which is pretty cool, I think. But uh, I think we have a problem. We got these guys on defense, right? So they are waiting. But these guys are also on defense. <laughs> so they're also waiting. Oh no! Guys, we got a major flaw in the battlefield. Oh, 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 we got some guys coming up. It's pretty nice. Let's see what they are uh, shooting at. Oh, you're shooting at the musketeers. No, wait, the musketoons. That's what it's called. <laughs> Musket the whatever, okay? Musket whatever. That's right. Let's take a look, okay? Because these guys are very patient. They do not even uh, flinch and not even a little bit. He's got big armor, of course. Thick metal armor. He will probably stand the test of time, okay? Well, he will... He'll be able to chill it out here. But guys, I think we're gonna have to cancel this level or at least change it a little bit so that the red team doesn't do nothing but actually does something. And oh, first guy falls, but it's not gonna be enough, okay? All right, so I have replaced them with dudes that actually move forward. Now we have a new problem. There's a wall in the way. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, did I place down a few more than I removed? I think so, because it's a little bit laggy here. Oh my goodness. Stay with me, game. Stay with me. Don't crash. Oh my goodness. Is my computer okay? I think my computer is okay. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of it, I think, but that's all right. That It's used to that, okay? A little bit of fire I've n has never heard it before, okay? Now, let's see. We do have these guys moving forward, but my goodness, by the time the wall falls, everything else is pretty much broken already. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> this is really bad for the team red, even though we placed way more dudes over on the red team. You know what, guys? For this level, we are going to say that the blue team, the blue gods, are victorious, and we are gonna move on over to the next level because I got plenty of them. So this one is called the Wooden Battle Space Program, which apparently is a meme of some sort. I don't know what's going to happen, but. <laughs> There's a lot more guys here than I uh, expected. But, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it is super, super laggy. Oh, my. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it, what's happening? I see a lot. Oh! What? No way. Can I zoom out? Look at that! Holy my... <laughs> I can see why it's called the space program. These guys went up flying big time. Let's see if we can clear the bodies. Maybe reduce the lag a little bit. My goodness, that's crazy. You have one soldier here. One rebel, okay? This rebel is just still fire. <laughs> he doesn't listen to nobody, okay? He's just gonna shoot at this this block. Because this block 
did something to his family or something. I don't know what's going on. So after that pretty chaotic level, we have the street and two houses. So we have, uh, well, we have street. That's pretty nice. We got two houses. That's pretty nice. We got a... Uh, not a lot of frames per second, that, that's not you, we need more FPS, but let's see what's gonna happen in this one, okay? I don't think there's any, like, crazy space program or gods or whatever. It's just a street of two houses, we need that, okay? We need a breather, we need a level that gives us some breathing room. This level does give me a pretty good idea. Like, for a, for a bridge or something. That would be pretty cool, right? If we make, like, a bridge across the map, but, uh, is this really all there is to the level? Okay, well, you know what, guys? That's it about the Steam Workshop, okay? You get a small preview, and you and I, we check them out together, okay? This is the first time I see it, and the first time you see it. So, uh, I guess that's it for this level. All right, let's go for one that is a little bit cooler. This one is called, let's take a look, Red Armored Robot Factory. That's right, we have apparently got some robotic units being manufactured right over here in the back and we as the blue team have to take it down i don't want to see any robotic units in wooden battles you want to know why because it's wooden battles not robotic battles that's right so let's take a look what can we do we are gonna have to spend a lot of cash i think but i want to start off with uh, with a nice little line of these guys okay like we were starting off with one general in the back is he on attack i can see on yeah okay so he's gonna help us attack that's gotta be good. But what else do we need? Maybe some, uh, oh, maybe some Gatling guns in the back. And we're kinda gonna switch it up with some, uh, with some uh, cannon boys. Yeah, that's right. We need more body, though. We need, we need some, uh, some soldiers. And there's some soldiers with the other weapon. Let's put those in the front, okay? Because they can, uh, kind of burst. Oh, 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 we need rocket guys. We need rocket guys. Rocket guys on the sides, far away from anything else. Because we know that the rocket guys gotta shoot at their own guys. And that's bad. Oh, we need a medic. And a meat shield, that's right, these guys gotta be tanky. I don't wanna place them in front of, uh, of the cannons, of course, that would be really bad. Alright, this looks like a pretty uh, solid army without snipers. Let's get a sniper. <laughs> Alright, as I was saying, this looks like a pretty solid army with snipers this time. Let's take a look, okay, Robot Factory has gotta go down by the hands of the mighty army of James, that's right. We might not be blue gods, but it's gotta be cool, I think. What, he's throwing mortars over the wall? That's super clever! Why am I not so clever? Oh, that's gonna be bad for my uh, musketoons. Oh, they're dodging it though. If they can keep moving forward... Oh, what? Did he spawn... Oh! That doesn't sound so nice, but he's spawning infinite robot units! That's not cool, okay? I don't have that. I don't have infinite spawners. Oh, we need something to take down the spawners. But we also need something to take down these towers with all the snipers on there. Oh my! It's not looking too good, people! It's not looking good at all, friends! Oh boy! Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> it's not cool, okay, we didn't even get to the back wall yet, I mean, that's where we gotta go, oh my, alright, we're gonna switch it up with a, uh, a James a special tactic, okay, let's get rid of these guys, I said let's get rid of these guys, listen to me, man, you're gonna be replaced by uh, these bad boys, so we're gonna just do a line like this, and then we're gonna have to be very careful, because you guys know that we can make a pyramid here, right, come on, come on, ha, very nice, now we gotta be careful again. Because making pyramids is an art, okay? It's an art that you're gonna have to have a little patience for it. But this is my ultimate secret tactic, okay? They will never see it coming. Because it's a pyramid that they can't build. Only I can do that, okay? And apparently I didn't do a great job because we don't have one in the center. Can I still do that? Come on, oh, don't fall off. Ah, beautiful. It's not the most beautiful pyramid we have ever made, but it's a pyramid, all right. That little fire away. He's got to be a good boy, right? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. That's how you take down a tower. I love it. Oh, this is some real firepower. This is what we needed, okay? This is what we needed to take down the robot factory. We just built a robot off our own. The pyramid has come to life, okay? The pyramid is clever. Pyramid knows what to do in pyramid land. Now I've said that word enough, let's take a look at the back lines, because we are actually dealing damage to one of the spawners already. Is that enough to take down? Oh, one is actually down already, no way! Oh guys, the pyramid is so clever, so tactic, so strategic, that it has split up into two. And one over there, one over there. Oh, and we got some more over here too, it's not a pyramid anymore, but <laughs> they are spread out, okay, it's all part of the plan. It's actually worked though, we are breaking through the back lines here. 
They don't have many defenses left. Come on, pyramid power! I'm loving it. Oh, the soldiers over here too, still with the general and everything. Or the colonel or whatever he's called. Hey, we did it! Ha, huh. guys, we took down the factory. That was beautiful. So next up, we have another wall, but this one is looking uh, pretty fine, okay? Pretty crispy looking wall, if you ask me. Let's take a look at our offense here. We got four mortars again strange and a whole bunch of soldiers and that's about it so what's cooking over here we got a mortar gallon gun we got some generals and uh, mostly soldiers as well this is gonna be a a good old school battle for the most part with all these soldiers i see only one mortar oh, oh here we go more mortars coming in up oh, right in there oh beautiful we need that firepower okay we need some explosions to take down the walls i really like this uh, wall though with like the the big thing in the center here but man, I feel like we have so many more dudes, though. <laughs> but we're, like, grouped up, okay? Oh! Did you guys see that mortar shot? That was devastating for my army. We got another one, got another one. But that one was kind of a misser. I liked it. I want to see another one go completely into uh, Tokyo and back, okay? All the way in Tokyo. That's where I want to see it. Now they are in wooden battles, okay? I don't think wooden battles is in Tokyo. Now, let's see. We got no more... Oh, and no Gatling gun either. Hey, that's pretty good, right? So now it's all down to the soldiers. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? Their soldiers have generals. And we don't have that. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's why they can win with only fewer units. But I think I can fix... Oh, the whole wall just disappeared. But as I was saying, I think I can uh, fix our own yet, okay? Let's go ahead. Offense, blue team, where's the general at? Gonna do the uh, green gun, of course, because, hey... It, it's it's spread James after all. We were gonna have to do this uh, green style, right? Here we go. If there was a green army, I would go for it, okay? As a matter of fact, I would like to see a green army or maybe a, a yellow army or something. Doesn't matter. Let's take a look at what these generals can do, okay? So all we have changed is add seven or so generals. One is already down, though. That's pretty bad. Fire at the mortars, guys. Come on. We need to take down this mortar because otherwise it's gonna be pretty bad. Oh. Yeah, I can see the little black ball. You just boom. Right in the center of my army. Oh. Someone actually took a mortar to the face. <laughs> that's not good. That, that's, that's not so great. But look at this. This is the difference. Just seven of those colonels or generals. I keep forgetting the name. Can make. It's a big difference. Even though they don't even shoot that much. So what if we do this, guys? We go over on the red team. Defense, we get... The biggest counter to soldiers, in my opinion, is the Gatling Guns. It's really fast. It's really good against stuff that doesn't have armor, like all of these soldiers, of course. But then, we're gonna get rid of the generals. And we're going to replace those generals with, well, even more generals. <laughs> Let's do like a nice little bit of a line, okay? Just like that. Not entirely filled, because I think I can fit more generals... Then uh, Gatling Guns, because those are bigger. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I want to see some big booms. That's what we're here for, okay? Let's take a look. Because the Gatling Guns should... Oh, yes. That's what I was going to say. They should have enough range to fire away immediately. My goodness. It's a total wreck fest for the red team. Wow. That was... Uh, oh, and the wall disappears again. <laughs> they all... <laughs> they all go down to gravity, but... Uh, wow. I did not expect that. Gatlingans are really powerful. But we can fix that problem, okay? We can fix any problem if you just add a few more officers. Here we go. They're called officer, right? Yeah, officer. Not general, not colonel, not surges, not majors, whatever. Let's take a look, okay? Oh, now it's like... Oh. Oh, it's very laggy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But actually, maybe I do like it. Because my PC will survive, okay? It's got water cooling. So there's no fire coming out of it. Okay, let's take a look. First line went down very fast. But now the officers... There you go, the officers. I, I remembered it. Can actually fire, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. I know how to fix it. Final solution, guys. If this doesn't work, I don't know what does anymore. Okay, we're just gonna grab a few Muscatoon guys. Kind of just, uh, you know, spread them out evenly. Nice and, uh, nice and scattered. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. It's it's not looking too good. Look at this Gatling gun up here. It's got all the range in the world. It's got free fire everywhere. 
and the musketoons are absolutely super wrecked my goodness we are making some progress though let's take a look can i move the camera yes i can oh we took down a lot of gatling thingies that's not oh and the center of the wall as well maybe we can actually take down the wall yeah it does look like it oh big booms coming in their mortars are so accurate you know what i'll say that the wall has been victorious so this is truly a strange level it is called an explosive surprise i have no idea what's hiding in here but i can imagine that it's gonna be pretty explosive and a nice little surprise let's check it out okay here we go oh, what no way the whole thing just exploded how <laughs> how is that possible what? I can, I can hear something. Can you guys hear that? I can hear something. Like a strange sound. Let's take a look inside of here, okay? Can we just dive into it? What? It's nothing but mortars in here. That's so weird. Okay, let's take a look at it one more time, okay? I don't think I can do slow motion. What? Now it just disappeared. What in, what in the world? Is there still one guy alive? This time the blue team doesn't win immediately. That is super weird. Okay, one more time. Three times is a charm, okay? Go. Ho! Oh, that was a beautiful one. That actually looked a lot better. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to amp it up a little bit, okay? What can I do to make this explosion just a little bit more dramatic, okay? Because I want to see uh, more booms. Blue team has got to be victorious again, of course. Now let's see. We could grab more blocks, maybe? Like, oh, tiny blocks. Just just put it on there. Hello? How do I do that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're building. Now we are building. It's not too easy to just spam all around here, okay? I gotta kind of place it on there nice and neatly. I mean, how, how do I place things on here? <laughs> Maybe I can even do a few uh, infinite unit spawners here and there. Yeah, that looks very nice. That looks very nice indeed. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, beautiful. I do wonder, is it still gonna spawn units when I just click around like this? Oh, guys, this this could be a little bit too much. Okay, let's put a few medics down. We need medics. We need somebody to uh, to heal up a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna make a mountain of medics. <laughs> now, this is what I call a little bit of an explosive surprise. Let's take a look, okay? Go. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, is it still working? Is it still working? Oh, uh-oh. No, oh. <laughs> Guys, that, that's the first time that we flat out completely crashed the game. <laughs> wow. All right, that is... <laughs> All right, guys, I guess that's it for Wooden Battles, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next Project 5 video. <laughs>